Hi, thank you very much. Uh, I also, I didn't realise I was going to be speaking to you all today, so I don't have a presentation. I'm afraid I'll speak to you about the, the company and, and wind power itself, but I don't have a presentation for you to look at pretty pictures, I'm afraid, so I'll apologise for that. The reason we got into wind power, actually, is uh, five years ago we moved to a listed building. We already ran a business, uh, my husband and I, we've been running it for 20 years, so the business side of it was fine, but we moved to a house and our electricity bill was enormous, frightened us terribly. Because it was a listed building, I had to ask the listed planning officer if I could have solar, because five years ago all I knew was solar thermal, there wasn't anything really much being talked about. But I was told no, it was a listed building, I wasn't allowed to change the roof line, so no, I couldn't have solar. But he said, you could have a wind turbine. And I thought, wind turbine? Do I want a wind turbine? One of those large megawatt things in a field? No, didn't think that was sensible at all. But he said, no, actually, you can have a small wind turbine that purely makes electricity for your house. So you, you can make your own electricity. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, actually, that's really rather nice. I'd like to make my own electricity. I'd like to not be beholden to the grid. I'd like to, to do it myself. So we looked into it. But I couldn't get anybody to talk sensibly about it. Everybody wanted to sell me a solar panel because it's easy to put a solar panel on a roof. Nobody wanted to talk about a wind turbine, putting up wind turbines. So after a lot of hard work and running around, we eventually found that the only way of doing it was actually starting the company ourselves and actually installing wind turbines. Now, at that time, there were only two manufacturers really on the market who are actually uh, manufacturing. One was Proven Energy based in Scotland and the other was a company called Iskra. Both turbines were fairly similar but we decided we'd go for Proven because we liked the look of their turbine a bit better. Uh, and to cut a long story short, we have now become the biggest distributors for Proven Energy in the country. We're based in Bristol. Uh, we have a network of installers that cover the country so we buy direct from the manufacturer and we also have installers. We install ourselves, but we also have a network of installers. The thing is with wind power, wind turbines are very emotive, as I'm sure you all realise. We deal basically in micro-generation, which is the small-scale wind turbines. And turbines need two things. They need clean wind and they need a good wind speed. So in years gone by when planners have said, oh, go and put a turbine over in that wood over there so nobody sees it, of course the turbine didn't work, which has given wind power a very bad uh, name. If you put a turbine in the right sighting, it will do very well. If you're in the country and the feed-in tariff is going to be excellent for people who have a wind turbine sighted properly. If you have some land, you're a landowner, you're a farmer, you have a few acres and you can put up a largish turbine, the feed-in tariff will, in, in, with a 50 kilowatt turbine, the feed-in tariff can mean that, that the return on investment is around about five years. So you'll get guaranteed income for the next 15 years. We now not only distribute for proven energy, we distribute for four other manufacturers of horizontal axis turbine plus two manufacturers of vertical axis. And the difference in the technologies, just briefly so that you can understand it, horizontal axis turbines mean the generator is horizontal. The point about those turbines is they are very, very efficient in the right place, but you have to give them the clean wind and a good wind speed. The turbine head will rotate to find the actual direction of the wind, so if you give a wind turbine turbulent wind, it spends all its time looking for the direction and it doesn't produce. So for a farmer, landowner, you need a, hor a horizontal axis turbine, which will work well. If you're looking at an urban installation, basically turbines don't work brilliantly in urban areas, purely down to the disturbed wind and the lack of wind speed. But if you do want to put a turbine onto a roof, the, the one turbine you'd have to go for would be a vertical axis, because the generator is this way and the blades will come down they aren't uh, so concerned with turbulent wind, they're not as efficient as a horizontal uh, axis turbine, but they do work well, and if you want one for a, a, an urban area, 
then they'll do, do they'll do fine. So basically that's what you have to remember. In the right sighting, the right turbine will produce very, very well. Now I bought a turbine, this is how we got into it. We actually bought one ourselves, but we were missold it. I have a six kilowatt turbine, but the wind speed at my hub height, which is the height of the turbine, is under five meters per second, which is about 11 miles an hour. If you haven't got the right wind speed, please don't put up a turbine. I must be one of the only people that comes to a show like this. I can't sell you a turbine, and the vast majority of people I say, don't put up a turbine if you're in an urban area, don't have the wind speed, don't have a turbine, it won't work for you. Put a solar panel on your roof if you've got a south facing roof. But if you've got the right area and you've got the right wind speed, a turbine will work brilliantly for you. And that's me done. Thank you.